Good morning, y'all. Happy Vlogmas Day 15, 10 days until Christmas. I woke up and I did a workout for like the first time in what feels like forever. Um, I feel bad because like there's a gym in the basement and I should be using it because I don't have that back in Austin. We do have like a treadmill and a really, really small gym in our apartment complex, but it's only open during the office hours and the office like opens at like 10 and then closes at like five. So we're like six, but still, I like going super early in the morning, getting it out of the way. Today, I finally put on my new set active. Dang, I can't remember the color, but I do get everything in a size large. And if you guys are wondering if you guys have like big breasts, I love these bras like even this one shoulder bra i feel like it's so supportive it's just that perfect length that actually like holds everything up i feel like every time they come out with a new color i'm just like i need it my set active package from black friday finally arrived so i might unbox it tomorrow or today we'll see last night you guys saw that i had like chicken curry <laughs> and i also did my nails a little french tip action but this hand, my eating hand, now it's like highlighter yellow shit all up in my nails because there was like turmeric in the chicken curry. I was like, damn it, I just should have known. <laughs> Cause like obviously you eat chicken legs with your hands and in the Indian culture in general, you just eat with your hands a lot more. So yeah, I'm kind of mad at myself for that. Um, but it's okay. Cause this hand is really the only hand that needs to be pretty i'm gonna prepare for a work call i have like a performance review an informal one because apparently part-time workers don't really have to do like the full thing but my boss and i are still gonna do it just to kind of talk about like things over the past year and stuff so this will be interesting my first performance review ever i think i don't think i've ever done that like an internship or something but yeah so wish me luck <laughs> um i was trying to go a really long time without washing my hair because i'm like making a tiktok and i wanted to like see how long i could go without washing my hair but for some reason i think i put too much product the first day when i styled it because i washed my hair on saturday morning then sunday then monday and then it was like I probably could have gone one more day and then like felt itchy today but I just like didn't want to feel itchy because that's like the worst feeling ever. I was just thinking it's probably bad that I got the Dyson Airwrap because now I just want to use it every single time because it like looks so bomb. Obviously you know it's better to air dry your hair so maybe like sometimes I need to just let it dry on its own. Maybe today will be the day. We'll see. I kind of want to straighten my hair just for the heck of it because I haven't done that in a while. Just got done with my performance review. It went well. And now I'm having some late breakfast. I love this like coconut yogurt. My mom introduced me to it. It's from the So Delicious brand and it's like vanilla flavor. It's pretty sweet. And then I like to add my cereal, just like a little, like as a granola kind of thing um, on top. So I'm going to go get that. It's 4.53 p.m. and I was just editing my vlogmas from yesterday. I was stupid because yesterday I really didn't have anything to do and I still didn't edit my vlog like I said I was going to start doing. But, you know, sometimes you girl needs a little bit of a rest and especially if I want to like continue doing this like every single day. I just needed like a little chill day. Today's like the first day I haven't worn makeup in a while and it feels so good. I wanted to rub my eye earlier today and I paused because I thought I had mascara on just because it's been such a habit to like do that. But I could rub my eye without any worries and it was just divine. I wanted to take this time to address a comment that I got recently and I realized that I did not address this and I guess people don't know because I never really said anything. Um, but I guess, you know, context clues, you guys probably like knew this already. So the comment said, did I miss something? Are your parents divorced now? Um, and yes, they are divorced and they got divorced. I wanna say my freshman year of college. I remember my mom called me during recruitment week and kind of told me about it. Um, so I rushed in 2015 of fall, right? Fall, yeah. So they got divorced then and then like they were kind of just separated through high school. So we kind of like knew it was coming. It wasn't like a shock or anything. And then I think my mom moved out of our childhood house like sometime during college, maybe sophomore year and got her own place. And then my dad was still in that childhood house. So I was still like filming in there every time I came home from college. And then he got this house. So that 
just kind of explains that whole situation. So I do say a lot now, especially in Vlogmas, um, my mom's house, my dad's house. I just feel a lot more comfortable saying it. And I think maybe that's why I feel more comfortable doing Vlogmas this year is because it's just like, I've kind of just accepted the fact that it's like this and it did take a couple of years, but it's just, it's just how life is nowadays. I'm honestly really happy for them because they are happy with how their lives are now. I honestly feel very lucky because I know not every divorce situation ends in both relationships being fine afterwards with the parents. And also I was like a lot older when it happened. So it really didn't affect too much of like me being brought up in two different households. So, and I know that my parents were trying to wait till I graduated high school to separate officially and I know that was probably hard for them but like I'm thankful that they did that in a way I just feel like it definitely could have been worse you know like there's so many worse situations where you know the dad isn't in the life or the mom's not even in the life anymore so I'm just really grateful that they're still very much in my life and very supportive of my life and everything I do and if anything after the divorce I feel like they got so much cooler I always thought they were like so strict <laughs> my mom's probably watching this but I feel like my dad was more of the strict parent um growing up obviously because they want the best for you and obviously being brown you know they want you to be educated and you know like do amazing and you know be at your fullest potential so yeah I just kind of wanted to address that because I feel like I haven't talked about that on my channel and it is a big part of my life, obviously my family dynamic. And honestly, me being a fan of other YouTubers, I'm interested in their family dynamics. So I'm totally get it. Like if you guys wanted to know more about that situation, there's really not much else to say about that. So I think Ryan is gonna come over to watch The Bachelorette. I know I said this yesterday, but he better come over because I just want to hang out. But I need to go get back to editing this vlog before it gets too late <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys later. My Glossier package finally freaking came after so long, but I understand, you know, Black Friday is a crazy time. Okay, so I got so many bomb.coms because I was on the last bit of my mango one and then it disappeared. And I'm like, damn, you you would really do this in a, in a time where I need you the most, especially like being winter. Okay, so I got the mintbomb.com. If you guys have never tried a Glossier product, seriously, a lot of their skincare is really good. Their makeup is more on the natural side. There's one thing I really like that I'll show you next, but other than that, like I, I feel like it's not really my vibe, but they do have some really cool things. Like the cheek tint is super cute. But anyways, so I got the mintbomb.com. I got two of those because you can never go wrong with mint. And then they came out with a new scent, wildfigbomb.com. And I was like really intrigued and I wanted to smell it. So here we go. Ooh, I did not realize it was gonna be like tinted. Oh no, that's like a little red. Like actually it's really red. I guess it doesn't look horrible, but it kind of stained my finger. I don't love the color, but it does smell pretty good. And then I got the coconutbomb.com. I love the packaging. Very cute. So I love me some coconut. Looks like this. Okay, that smells really good. Next and the last thing I got is my Pro Tip Eyeliner. This shit is the best freaking eyeliner I have ever tried. Something about the tip of it is just perfect for doing wings. I can't say enough good things about this, so I'm really glad that it is back in my makeup collection. That is all I got from Glossier. I turned on The Bachelorette and me and Ryan are gonna watch it. Honestly, I'm just like super not into this season. Oh, I forgot it's hometown today. That's so weird. I wonder if like the families had to quarantine for two weeks like the Bachelor contestants had to do or if they just like had to take a COVID test. So I kind of wanted to try this thing that I saw on TikTok like a really long time ago, but it's basically like y you or me come up with a category and then the first thing that comes comes to our mind. We'll say it and we'll see if <sighs> if we get if we both say the same thing. Okay? Mm -hmm. Do you want to pick the category first? This could be anything. Anything? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, color. Okay. One, two, three. One. Blue. Oh, okay. 
It's just whatever comes to your head first, you know? You can't, like, think too much about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sea creature. One, two, three. Sea Octopus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this is, like, not a real thing. You know what I mean? Maybe they edit it and be like, say this word. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, car maker. Okay. One, two, three. Honda. Audi. Oh, dang. So I don't think we like each other very much. <laughs> Your rising moon is different than my waxing crescent. <laughs> Shut up. I don't get along very well. <laughs> um, Kelsey <clears throat> told me to take an Enneagram test. I don't even know what that is. It's like a personality test, but it's like so crazy in depth. Well, the one she showed me had like pretty much like a book that they sent her about like her personality and she paid $12.99 to do it. I'm kind of nice. tempted. My personality changes every day actually. Yeah, so and I'm a, twice, but we get different answers. I'm a Sagittarius. He's a Gemini. If you guys are into horoscopes and like know things about Gemini and Sagittarius, let us know in the comments down below. Like, are we good for each other? It's just always so interesting. We're watching The Bachelorette right now, and they're doing the hometown dates around the hotel, and it's just such a sad season to be honest. Like, <laughs> oh my, my god! Like, I guess, <laughs> I guess this guy's from like Venice Beach, and they literally are just like making these sets. And it's just trying cold pressed cheese. It's my <laughs> Venice. <laughs> okay, so let's try like. a couple more categories though. Um, shoe brand. One, two, three. Nike. Nike. Uh, what? Good marketing right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was staring at my um, Air Force ones. Basketball player. Three, two, one. Kawhi Leonard. It's the only one I know. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jordan. Good brand. LeBron James. No. That's the one I like the best. Do you have any updates for the vlog? I feel like you haven't been on the vlog much. I'm in the process of looking for a new car. This one comment I got was, did Ryan get the Tesla? Because they saw that I was driving a Tesla, but now yeah. that's my dad's. Well, he gave me his car to borrow and then I got two flat tires and I'm still driving a loner for like the next two weeks. So no, he did not get a Tesla. But I'm thinking about getting a Jeep Grand Cherokee or just keeping my BMW. We'll see. I have one more year. I can extend my lease one more year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I may do that. But also something bigger that I can take on road trips and stuff. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I know I didn't really have much content for you guys today. But hopefully tomorrow will be better even though it's just another day like this. Just a day of me working and not doing much after work so i'm honestly struggling with ideas so if you guys have any specific things that you want to see i know there's like a couple of video ideas i have written down and i still need to do those but if there's anything else let me know and i will see y'all in my next video bye